Thank you, Stephen. I'm excited to be here to talk to you about Cox Automotive. Cox Automotive may be one of the biggest companies you've never heard of until today, but there's no doubt that you've interacted with one of our brands because we offer the most comprehensive set of products and services to the automotive industry. In fact, we touch three out of every four car purchases in North America. Our technology powers sites like kbb.com, which sees more than 22 million unique visitors each month, and helps our Mannheim auctions complete more than $58 billion in transaction values each year. And we help you schedule 44 million service appointments at your dealership. Our 34,000 global team members and over 20 brands have come together through more than 40 acquisitions, which can lead to a lot of interesting dynamics. For engineering, that means we're working across 15 locations and over 50 data centers. We have everything from IBM RPG on the iSeries, Oracle databases and Exadata, IBM Data Power, .NET, Java, and Python. It's a long list. Put simply, we have a diverse set of cultures, technologies, and techniques that make our journey to the cloud complex and much like many enterprises face today. In technology, our teams were already headed to the cloud. As you can see in the orange line, our AWS use and costs were ballooning. We had to sell the company on the importance of short-term investment to achieve long-term cost reduction. And we had to build trust in the fact that the cloud would make us faster and enable innovation. And the important thing is that that allowed us to make sure that our AWS strategy was a company-wide and company-owned initiative. With our technical diversity, figuring out our plan was difficult, but we knew we needed to transform our security methodologies, our CICD practices, our operational tooling, and our API approach. So we stood up a central team to handle enablement, host hands-on training, coordinate partner support, and more. And, in, and the most important thing we did was we made our people justify why not AWS. So Rudin and Stephen Orban, six R's, we selected businesses that occupied a single data center, which typically meant we had a single engineering team focused on that work in a single location. So that allowed us to really uh, simplify our support process and our, our training and rally our teams around the objective. The plan was to, in parallel, aggressively migrate out of a, a data center and close it. We used early wins as proof of our plan and, and to gain experience and confidence because we were all in. And then the big wins came when, with things like our first major migration autotrader.com. Autotrader sees more than 18 million unique visitors each month with nearly 5 million listings on the site. There's not a lot of room for error in a space where competition is high. But to meet the changing expectations of shoppers and sellers, we needed a place where we could innovate and rapidly test impactful changes against, say, 5% of our traffic. We knew the cloud would enable that capability, but we also needed a safe path for a reliable transition. In our migration, we decided to automate everything to increase the consistency, reliability, and quality of our deployments. So now when our developers are checking in code, we're spinning up environments to test and validate every change. It's now easier to collaborate, and we can deliver the quality our partners expect with the speed the market demands. And when we're ready to go to production, it's now an automated blue-green deployment process that allows us to deploy many times a day. We would not have been able to continue to improve AutoTrader's user experience, including our most recent launch of our new responsive site, had it not been running 100% on AWS. And what we learned with the AutoTrader migration helped us with what came next, our real-time bidding migration, which is a platform that allows us to buy display advertising via real-time auctions. At dealer.com, we participate in 500,000 auctions per second with under 100 milliseconds to respond. We use machine learning to optimize bid pricing and decisioning to drive consumer engagement. So as you can imagine, it's a pretty complex uh, set of processes that must run quickly and effectively every time. We had almost 400 custom applications in our data centers and lots of Ansible playbooks to maintain them. 
And we started out the same way we've, we'd always worked. For example, we created an AMI for every application, which, as you know, is operationally inefficient. But by digging into AWS's tools and services, we found better ways of working. We discovered that AWS Systems Manager could run playbooks for us on a scheduled basis. So we built one AMI and used Systems Manager to install application-specific needs. Now we can migrate 12 applications in the time it used to take us to do one. We went from thousands of lines of code to less than 300 for the same work in AWS. And the best part, the team completed their migration nine months ahead of schedule. Our systems are more effective based on the stability of the AWS infrastructure and we're more efficient. We reduced our response times, decreased the number of bidding instances, and cut our overall run costs. And since it's automated, the team vacated their second data center with the push of a button. After 18 months, we're not done yet. We still have migrations to complete and data centers to vacate. And we have a lot more to explore based on all that AWS has to offer. And that starts with our data platform. Like many companies, we started with purpose-built data architectures, a wide variety of technologies, and varying degrees of maturity. And then a central data lake managed by a central team which we lovingly refer to as our data swamp. But we've set out to change to a distributed model because we value access and speed, and we strive to make it easy to do the right thing. Our unified data platform connects publishers to consumers, getting data into the hands of our engineers and analysts faster and where they're already working. It delivers the speed and safety we need while eliminating duplicative point-to-point -point data connections. This approach is possible because of AWS and its services like S3, Kinesis, and Glue, which help us access and transform our data, which allows us to make data the foundation of everything we do. And by unifying our data in a common way, we're enabling our engineers to do interesting things with machine learning. One opportunity we're working on is what we call hot car. As you can imagine, it's difficult for dealers to know which vehicle might sell next and how to market that car to you. To solve this challenge, we developed Vehicle Score, which measures online shopper activity on kbb.com, autotrader.com, and dealer.com dealership websites. We use these comprehensive data sets to predict the likelihood that a vehicle will sell within the next week, which helps the dealer market the right car at the right time. And when you're on Autotrader and you found your dream car, you'll know when it's time to act, <clears throat> because we'll tell you. We used AWS to build an environment where data science teams didn't need to know about SageMaker, Docker, Spark, Scala, or even AWS. And by leveraging SageMaker's bring your own algorithm feature, our engineering teams didn't need to get caught up in the machine learning details. SageMaker did the heavy lifting. Today, our real-time architecture incorporates AWS managed services and open source platforms, Kafka, DynamoDB, EMR, Spark, SageMaker, and Kinesis. For Cox Automotive, the cloud is helping us innovate faster at a lower cost. By giving our engineers access to AWS services, we're now laser focused on the work that will help us transform our industry. In short, we're making it easier for car dealers to operate their business, and we're making the process of buying, selling, owning, and using cars better for consumers like you. Thank you. <laughs>